today I will teach you about word order. Mm -hmm. Which word? Word order? Word. Word are order. Which means that what words are to be placed in what places in the sentence. The order of the words. For example, the first important thing that I'm going to teach is uh, verb plus object. Verb plus object. In the sentence, in a normal sentence, the verb, verb, all nine, most of the cases, except from exceptional cases, verb comes before the object. Before the object, we place verb. The verb. The verb. For example, we place the verb. We place. We. We place the verb before the object. For example, Anything. 
A is the verb here, verb here, and biryani is the object. So, in uh, this is one kind of uh, word, one kind of word order in which this, in which we use in a sentence object which we use. And another word order would be place plus time, in which the a given place will be uh, before or before the uh, time we use. So I gave an example. Will you be home tomorrow? It means that if I, for example, I have a plan to visit you tomorrow, so I can ask, Will you be home? Will Will you be home tomorrow? Means that which means that. Uh, Will you be present in your home tomorrow? Did you ask him whether he understand? Then? Did I answer your question? Did you understand? Did you ask him that question? Do you understand? Ask him properly. Is there any doubts or is there anything here? Ask everybody. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Very good. Instead of office, replace office, uh, use another word for office. Mm -hmm. 
Building. Speak loudly, man. Huh? Building. Building. Room. you said house is a physical structure and home is a place where we can live in do you mean that in house nobody lives in Yes, but that is what I am telling you. You are who you, you, you wherein you you live in yes. is called as home, and wherein your relatives live in is called as house. Yes. If 
Yeah, because I am this person speaking, so my I when I refer to when I say home, I mean my house. The person speaking when they say home, it is known as the. Exactly. See what you're doing. Good. I mean, not good. You're on the right track. But you're mixing up two concepts. First, you explain house, and then home, and the relationship between the two, and the difference between the two. Then you explain home. How can you use the word home? Whose home? How? Right. So there are three aspects. What are home? What are houses? What are homes? The relationship between the two. The difference between the two. And the usage of the word home. Who it applies to? How it applies? Okay. So you got three aspects to explain. And this is the physical structure. Okay. Home is not the physical structure. It's kind of the living space. Not the living space. The Place where we live in. Okay. Yeah. Not we are not talking about the physical structure. How about if we, no, I, we are actually talking about the physical structure as well? But the relationship, yeah, the relationship between the two. Because, for example, I'm going on, don't get lost. For example, let's say some person does not have a house, right? They're very poor, right? And so they sleep and they live in a big open ground. Will that be yeah. a home or a house? What it it would be his home. Well, actually, it would be nothing. He doesn't have a home. He doesn't have a home. I mean, I'm not home. I mean, yeah. I mean. So, but you talked about a physical structure. So, to have a home, there must be a physical structure. Yeah. What are the kind of physical structure? Could be made out of uh, wood, could be made out of, uh, you know, uh, bricks and whatever, or could be made out of tin. Could be made out of tarpaulin, could be made out of a lot of things. But that is a house, right? And different types of houses are called different things. Maybe called a hut, could be called a tent, uh, various things. But a kind of a house, a structure to live in, right? Now, what's a home? So now a, a home must be related to that house, how? That's what you're going to explain. Listen to that, listen. And when we're talking, if I'm talking too fast, or he's talking too fast, fast, or you did not understand what he said. You have to stop. So I'm going to repeat that again. What did I say? Did you understand? Did you understand what we were talking about? Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Don't answer. 
Don't give him hints. I don't need a little brother. No hints. I was aware of people living. How? Aware of people living? Okay, another one. I 
are you going from? Now, where is the subject? Write it down, please. You come forward. Thing. Every day. I'm 
بیان کرے Right? Yes. Yes, 
Are you sure? Yes. Did you understand what we talked about? Uh, and and moreover, I think uh, football anywhere the same size and the same shape. But uh, whereas in the case of piano, maybe it may shapes may change or maybe size may change. Uh, no, 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 yeah, no for that reason we are using the the. And in the case of uh, football, because it is generalized, so we are not using. Uh, no. See, piano implies music. Right. So a piano is a certain type of music, but football is no type of football. If you say game, what type of a game? Okay? Uh, what type of a sport? Yes. Right? Which sport? The. Right? He plays the XYZ. He's good at the XYZ sport. Right? If you use sport or game after the name, right? For example, we'll simplify this example a little bit more. I live in the India. Is that correct? Why? You know, India, you can't say the with something, like for example, you cannot say the with certain proper nouns, persons, places, and stuff like that, right? With common nouns, you can use the. But if I say I live in the country, India, yes. can I say that? Yes. I said India, and I use country. Now I'm specifying which country. That's why I said the. Likewise, with the piano, it's a certain type of music. So you must say the piano. Does that make sense, right? Yes. Right. Does it make sense? Are you sure? Yes, sir. If it doesn't, you say it doesn't. Hundred yes, percent. Do you understand? Do you understand? Hundred yes, percent. So if you not ask, yes. Yes. Right. If you don't understand, it is your responsibility to ask. Right. Well, I don't know what's happening in your head. I'm the alarm. Right. Okay. So you understand this? Why the? Do? do you understand? What is? Yes. Okay. Good. Have you ever experienced this before? No. So you're thinking. So he's not teaching us. Yeah. Yes or no? Okay. So far, write the move. Unit number one. And is R. <coughs> and I write some sentences here. Right. And I write some sentences. Now it's like he's teaching us. Right? Have you done English grammar in your life ever? No? In school? Yes. Didn't they teach you and is our subject so matching the noun pronoun the did you did they teach you all this? How come you still don't know it? They taught you? Well, why don't you know it? Like, like this they didn't want. Yeah, this? Like this they didn't want. That's what I'm saying. So you're thinking I'm not teaching you. Right? I'm not teaching you. I'm just coming and making you talk, right? Yeah. But you did the very same thing you want me to do in school. In school, they would teach you. Good morning, madam. Good morning, students. You're at number one. I write everything down on the board. Then you read it and you take notes. You, how old are you now, Mashallah? 17. 17. When did you do grammar first? Maybe in fifth standard. Right? Seven years ago. Over seven years, they still don't know English. And they taught you? Yeah. That's not called teaching. Because what? Take your book out of your textbook. Here, I'll do something. I'm going to demonstrate to you something. I'm going to demonstrate what happened in India. Unit number one. And is R. My name is Lisa. I am 22. I am American. I am from Chicago. I am a student. I am not married. Can you not read this yourself? Then why am I reading it for you? Because you're Munna. Right? You're 100 years old, you still be Munna. Right? No, you're grown up men now. You can read what I'm reading. Can you not? Don't you know how to read? Yes, if you're in first grade, second grade, KG, then I teach you. A, A, C, A. Then you learn A for A, A, E, A, A. You learn all these things. So now you know something. You know how to read. You know how to say the and is not. You know how to read, right? You can understand. This is something that is beyond, like way behind your time, right? You have progressed, advanced a lot. I shouldn't be treating you like kindergarten children. Yes, that's not called teaching because you have been taught for seven years in this manner. 
Today we are going to learn about and is R. Why did you buy this book? To make pick a lot of it? It is so simple. Yes, when there's something complicated, when you come across something that you cannot understand on your own, I will definitely explain it to you. But you are paying me money and you want me to read this book which you can read. Is that why you're paying me 6,000 rupees per month? Yes or no? I mean, I don't feel like taking your money, man. I'm not, I'm, it's a simple book. It's like ABCD. If you're paying me 600 rupees, that's what I'm doing. Go to Kamil Bay. Just take 500 rupees and read it for you. Right? The, the, the reason why you haven't learned English is because nobody taught you to use it. You learn it and you do it. You learn it and you do it. Nobody taught you that. Right? Now, in America, in the West, in US, Canada, UK, Europe, Australia, the developed advanced countries, the method of teaching is you have a chapter here, okay? If it's something complicated, I will explain it beforehand. Like I explained subject verb matching only 10 times. Minimum, yes or no? Why? Because it's not there in this book explicitly. It doesn't explicitly say that it's there in this book. But I explained to you subject verb matching in the present continuous and present simple, yes or no? That with an S and no S. Because not that in this book. But what is there in this book? Why should I have to explain it to you? That means your mind is not absorbing when you read. And communication means reading? Yes or no? Speaking? Yes or no? Yes. Writing? <clears throat> Listening? Yes or no? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes. Exactly. These are methods of exchanging information. Yeah? But if you don't know how to read, then how are you going to communicate? Are people always going to talk to you? You're never going to read anything? Don't you have a textbook in college? Yes, your professor comes and writes something down. Blah, 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 blah. You go home, and teach at home, will it? Done. You don't know what he said, you don't know how to apply it. Yes or no? Am I right or wrong? You tell me. That's the reason why, from first standard, you have been learning grammar. What he said, right? Sentence orders. You learned that in second standard, I think. You don't know it. Yes or no? So from second standard, that will be eight years plus, that will be eight years plus two, yeah? Twelve years you haven't learned. Why? Because the method of teaching and the method of learning is not correct. It is not correct, yeah? You go home, you close this book, you close your mind with the book, and you put it deep inside your bag. Then the next day you come back to class, and the teacher went, today we are going to do unit two. We're going to talk about this. Write your notes. You close your book, you close your mind, you put it in the back. You don't know. For 12 years this has been happening. Yes or no? That's why you don't know proper English. Yes or no? That's why you joined this class. Yes or no? Yes. Now if I do the same thing they did, what is the difference? If I do the same thing, right? What was done in your school? in your college, wherever else, right? If I'm going to do the exact same thing, write the unit down on the board every day, and you go home, you come back and I do the next unit, and in so many days I finish the whole book, but you don't know how to talk. What is the difference between me and them? Anything? Exactly. Then why are you paying me six thousand Right? You only paid your school, you paid, why are you paying anybody anything? Right? You are paying over here because you have to use your brains. You have to work hard mentally. And that mind says, don't work. This is too much work for me. So you think it's not teaching. It's there. Read it. Put some effort. Listen, listen. You understand? So, open your book at home. You have to do your homework. This is your homework. Your classwork is how you apply your homework. If you don't apply your homework well, I will correct you, like we always do, right? Upon did not put a bill. Did we correct him? Right. But if I go and tell him the whole thing, how does he know where he's 
where his weakness is. So when you come and talk, you understand and I understand where your weakness is. So I can help you overcome your weakness and teach you what the correct structure is. You understand? The book already has what it has. Why should I read it to you again? In effect, wasted your time. Yes or no? Do you understand? Yes or no? This is the reason why. Do you want to go to US to study? Do you? Do you want to go to USA to study? America to study? Maybe? Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Why? Why don't you study in India? Because the system will not work. The job you have to work with, you don't have to work with, you don't have to work with, you don't That's why. Why don't you do that in India? Because the system is not good enough. Yes or no? <laughs> exactly. It's not good enough because of this method of teaching. Riding on the board, reading. Riding on the board, reading. Nobody explains anything. Nobody checks to see. Did you understand? Can you do it? Over here, that's what we do. I don't read it. I explain things that you don't understand. I'll explain things that are not given in this book. Otherwise, what is the point? What's the difference? I'm telling you. Go to only pay. Don't pay 600 rupees. Pay 600 rupees. Waste it and waste your time. Because they do exactly what they did in your school and you still don't know. 12 years. For 12 years, you've been learning English and you never know English. Doesn't matter, horrible waste of time and money. Yes or no? I don't want to do that here. No, that's not what I'm doing. I want you to actually learn. I want you to actually speak English. Right? Just writing an exam, I mean, sorry, just taking an exam and passing it with 90%, 100% is not the end of your goal. It's not the achievement of your goal. No, it's not. You achieve your goal, you should be able to pass your exam without studying for it. Yourself. 
If you don't compare, how can you correct yourself? I told you to compare. See, that's called learning. You don't want to do that. You don't want to take the easy road. You know, your father works hard in Saudi Arabia. You have a must life. You come here, you sit, the teacher says something, and we'll go back home. No, my teacher told me that. See, I don't over here. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to do that homework that I gave you. Why did you do it? Why didn't you compare it? You understand? Because you're not comparing, you're not correcting. If you don't correct, you won't <coughs> correct. Do you understand? Yes or no? Why aren't you doing it, man? You don't want to learn? No. Yes, I want to learn. Then you have to do what I'm telling you to do. Yeah? You didn't do that. Okay. Did you uh, read a unit or two? Unit I Sorry? Yes. Okay, which one? Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven? Five, six. Five, seven, eight. Seven. Seven, eight. Seven. 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 And eight. And eight. Okay. Come on, explain. 